Time. There's another yeah, big issue that we need to talk about, and that's the uh, the Syrian refugee crisis. It's been going on for three years, uh, largely ignored by the international community, and it's taken the image of lifeless child, a three-year-old, Aylan Kurdi, to galvanise public attention to the crisis and the sheer size of this catastrophe that's happening overseas. Now, Marama, you're in government. Has John Key made a big mistake by not following the lead of other countries and agreeing to take more refugees from from Syria? Now, we absolutely think that there is, abs there is room here in New Zealand for us to be able to take take more refugees now as a one-off intake and also to increase the quota from 750. We've said that since um, earlier this year when this question came up at that time. This is not new situation and we need to be uh, front-footing it and doing what we can. So is that what you've been saying to John Key? Because he's been a bit lukewarm on this, this cope up. He has been a bit lukewarm on it and I think it is an evolving situation. Before those photos came out people were already making the call to increase our quota and to be able to take some of the, the pressure off. We're never going to be able to do uh, what they can do over there. We, it'll be a drop in the ocean but we are a country built on manaakitanga, mm. on the way we look after one another yeah. and uh, this is something that all of us feel mm. strongly about. So you, so you, you talk about a, that's a Māori value there, manaakitanga, so what as Māori what can we do? Well, exactly. Situation. Let's put politics to the side yeah. and look at the human element of this. There are people dying, there are children dying, and, and, they've been, and it's been happening for years. And we need to put the politics to the side and just do what is right by people. Mm. And that is our, our Māori, that is manaakitanga. Mm. You know, we've got to live it. We don't just talk about it. We've got to live it mm. and we've got to help those people. You agree with that, Willie? Oh, what no, can we no, do as Māori? Well, I mean, you've got a lot of services there that you run. Yeah, no, that's right. Well, both of them are absolutely right. In fact, Clark took the boat people, didn't she? You know, we've already mm. got precedent. Labour shows a, a real humanitarian side. That's what it comes down to. But don't get humanitarian after you see a photo. That's right. Right? Yeah. Let's not get huma humanitarian then. Let's know we've had a problem before. And as Māori, of course we think that we should mm. take some of these um, uh, refugees. That doesn't mean to say that we shouldn't be looking closely at immigration mm. because it's a different kaupapa. Māori, and we've got real concerns there in that area. Is this, is this typical national? Although, Willie, I mean, they're usually fiscally yeah. driven, not well, Mara, socially Mara, Mara driven. Well, Marana knows. Oh, Marana, no, but Marana knows because, you know, she supports them. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's whatever way the wind blows, you know, and Marama and Tūruru are not getting in there hard enough trying to persuade them. Oh, I don't know? think that's true at all. No? Not at all. Because <laughs> just seems like it. It just sort of feels that way. But It, it might feel that way to you, but <laughs> at least we have the opportunity to sit across the table and look someone in the eye and say, what are you doing about this? Mm. And please explain to us, because we don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. We've pushed for an increase and I'm I'm hoping that the government are going to come out and listen to the public and make an announcement. If not, we're ready to support um, both Labour and Greens policy to move it forward and that actually is the beauty of our position because uh, we can help get opposition party bills across the table if there is support.